start above the greater trochanter right here and with the end of the stick holding it down like this if you hold it up like this you're going to lose control of the stick sooner or later we don't want that so you want to hold the stick right here and you start right here and you start going straight up mm, like stripping Ooh. stripping mm -hmm. yeah. straight up mm. straight up we're saving our thumbs <laughs> straight up and the last one straight up like that at the same time, if you find something going on here after you mm -hmm. did the fanning and the digging or the stripping like this, mm -hmm. you can go and work very specifically with static compression using that end of the stick, the piriformis. You know, if you want to release the piriformis, it's a great way of doing that. Okay, just right there, just press and yeah. you do it. Yeah. Here we can also work the low back in this way. We start with the cap end of the stick and work it here real good, setting your hands. The pressure here from my body is minimal. I'm not using so much my arms as much as my whole body moving into the stroke, okay? You can go all the way up. And you can turn and you can go all the way down, nice and slow. And when you get to the SI joint, right there, you can simply hold as you continue the pressure to release the SI joint. When you feel the release, then you can take the stroke out this way, just making good. And you can come back all the way up again to the upper back and you can start working the rhomboids right here. In whichever way you want, you can use the, the uh, end of the cap or the flat end of the stick. Okay. How much effort have I used? Zero to none. And look how red that is. So we're conditioning the body part to start working deeper and more effectively. Okay. So mm -hmm. that is some of the digging strokes right here, like that. Okay.